After I got my diagnosis, I wasn't sure how to feel. I was scared and it was really dark, but I also felt very hopeful. If you've recently been diagnosed with breast cancer, it's likely you are experiencing some shock and a bit of fear. Just remember, Northwestern Medicine is on this journey with you, and we will do everything we can to reduce the stress and any fear or anxiety you may be feeling. This video will provide specific information about chemotherapy for breast cancer, including what it is, how it works, and what you can expect during your treatment. Chemotherapy is a word used to describe all cancer-fighting chemically-based therapies. This word also includes immunotherapy and targeted biologic therapies. When you receive a breast cancer diagnosis, you will meet with a breast surgeon who will decide if you need breast surgery. You will also meet with a medical oncologist who may recommend you receive chemotherapy either before surgery, following surgery, or instead of surgery. We know, already this sounds like a lot, but having a treatment plan in place can help you feel more in control. Chemotherapy is a type of medication that travels through your bloodstream and spreads through your entire body to treat cancer cells wherever they may be. Chemotherapy stops the growth of cancer cells, either by killing the cells or by preventing them from multiplying. Immunotherapy engages your immune system and helps it recognize and attack cancer cells. Targeted therapies treat cancer by attacking specific proteins on the cancer cells so they can't grow. When these therapies are taken by mouth or infused into a vein, the medication enters the bloodstream and can reach cancer cells throughout the body. Some patients who receive IV therapies require a special catheter under the skin or a port in the chest to make the infusions easier and safer. These will be removed when you finish treatment. Intravenous chemotherapy is typically given in a vein, either as an injection over a few minutes or an infusion over a longer period. This is typically done at one of our cancer infusion centers. Chemo is given in cycles, usually followed by a rest period to give you time to recover from the effects of the drugs. Usually, chemo cycles are two or three weeks long. The schedule depends on the medications used. For example, your chemo may be given weekly or bi-weekly, depending on your personal care plan. Then, at the end of the cycle, the chemo schedule will start a next cycle. Most chemo treatments are given for a total of three to six months. This may be followed by immunotherapy. Your total treatment time, including both chemo and immunotherapy, may be up to 12 months. During chemo, you may wish to bring a companion with you to keep you company. Many patients also like to bring comfortable socks, a warm blanket, something to read or watch, a refillable water bottle, and a snack. Some people worry about feeling sick during chemotherapy. There are now several medications that can reduce nausea. Your care team will share these options before you start treatment, so you and your team can find one that works. Chemo drugs can cause side effects depending on the type of drugs used and the length of treatment. Side effects may include hair loss, nail changes, mouth sores, loss of appetite or weight changes, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea or constipation, fatigue, nerve damage, risk of infection, and skin changes. While you may experience a few side effects, it's unlikely that you'll experience all of these. Our physicians and nurses can help you manage them during treatment. Side effects from chemo typically go away once your treatment ends. Understandably, hair loss is one of the most stressful and upsetting side effects from chemotherapy. If you have hair loss from cancer treatment, our Living Well Cancer Resources offer virtual wig consultations. Wig specialists can help you choose a wig that fits your needs from the comfort of your home. These wigs are available at no cost to you. Some of our cancer centers offer scalp cooling techniques that may help reduce the chance of hair loss. These techniques can be used with some, but not all, types of chemotherapy. You and your oncologist will decide if scalp cooling techniques are a good choice for you. Once you've completed chemo, your care team will share next steps. These may include surgery, radiation therapy, hormonal therapy or observation, depending on your cancer. We will also create a survivorship plan for you. Nobody wants to face a cancer diagnosis, but it's important to remember that many breast cancers are treatable and curable, especially when caught early through screenings and follow-up care. Remember, your team at Northwestern Medicine is always here to support you throughout your treatment. Know that you are taking the right steps to help protect your health. Please call your breast health care team if you have more questions. Thank you.